in this video i'm going to talk about a real time example uh, this is an example i actually have implemented for one of my customer a few months back okay that's a real example um, so i'm just going to demonstrate the same thing I'll, I'll just create a flow and demonstrate the same business requirement and you know we also will implement the same thing i, I mean i want you to listen to this requirement right see how i am imp implementing the flow to uh, complete that requirement and i want you also to follow the same screen and you know implement it all right so this is the story the customer was basically um, a retail customer okay and they had like so many so many distributors who were buying like bulk products from that uh, retail customer and every single customers was eligible to get some loyalty points you know they they were actually giving the points based on the sales amount let's say for this month uh, for this current month um, this distributor name xyz has made a uh, thousand us dollar revenue i mean revenue since they have purchased thousand us dollar um, goods from that retail company right in this case 10 percent 10 percent of that whatever amount um, whatever amount that they have purchased the data right uh, purchase the good right uh, 10 percent of that amount goes to the loyalty points you got the story right so the story is this so let's say there are five distributors every month they they buy thousand thousand dollars things right and every month they they get uh, 10 percent of thousands um dollars uh, points as the loyalty points and you know every uh, uh month whatever points they get that has been added up with the last month loyalty cool and then end of the year you have to use the points okay so uh, i think these guys were giving some holiday package so if you have like thousand points you can go to thailand all these packages they are giving they are giving some certifications i mean if you have some thousand points you can take this certification or you can redeem it with some voucher like amazon voucher so all this thing right so that's not our business to learn we are going to learn how i can give a screen to the sales user by the way the customer will not enter the data the sales user will go to the customer place and ask okay how much the total amount how much is the sales amount of this month hundred dollars the salesperson will enter the hundred dollar and automatically that ten percent of uh, hundred whatever it is it should go and add it up in the um, customer's loyalty point field by the way customer is nothing but account okay so we have assumed customer is going to be the account object and uh, for the loyalty i have created a custom object called loyalty points i want you also to create the same object okay see so create a, an object called loyalty points and inside the loyalty points now i have created a um, couple of fields one is sales amount which is number make sure it is number okay and i have a name is already there i don't have to create it and i just have created another field called date because i need to capture which date and what is the sales amount and uh, you know what is the name of that record that's it and i also have created one uh, tab of for this object name loyalty points now what i'm gonna do is this see if you if you click on new button you see the screen i am going to use flow to create the same screen i'm going to use flow to create the same screen where you know you as an end user don't have to click on new button right you'll open you launch my flow and inside the flow you'll enter all the data and save the data will be saved into the loyalty points object you got it this is what we're gonna go and implement so let's go to the flow because i have already created those objects i want you to create the same objects please check this out the the loyalty objects the name of the object is loyalty points and the fields are this so i mean take a screenshot of or just pause this video to uh, see the object details okay this is the object loyalty points and these are the fields make sure you give number because if you don't give number then we're gonna get some error in the flow okay so that has to be the number sales amount has to be the number okay you can give currency also but let's go ahead with the number only fine so i'm gonna go and create 
a new flow okay and let's click on the new form new flow button okay see i have to create here screen flow why because i want the end user to enter some data some data means like the name of the loyalty the um, date and the sales amount right so it has to be a screen flow okay click on next select free from i have to first get a screen yes so get a screen first field would be um name so it should be a text definitely get the text data type uh, field over here drag and drop and give a name name should be name only okay if you want you can make that field required also i don't want to make the field required so i'm just getting one more text uh, not text i think it should be number because uh, sales amount is a number field right so make sure it's a number give a name sales amount all right not making the field as required you can actually enter some default value as well not entering in default value done then data drag and drop the date thing name should be date these are the three fields i just created right okay and i have created give give a, a label okay of this particular flow so create loyalty that's the label i'm giving done now the flow looks like this you as an end user can enter the name sales amount date and i have three button i think i don't need this pause button here so you can actually show or write the header okay and footer is basically this you need the footer right because you have to get the buttons i don't want the pause button so just previous button in flow is required because you sometimes have to go back and forth okay done i have created one screen you know what whenever you create something you have to tag it like this okay just drag and drop the line from start to screen so in the start the screen will open after that what will happen the end user will enter the data and the data will be saved into the uh, loyalty points now how do you go and save the data we have to use this create records simple just drag and drop the create record give a name create loyalty okay and uh, only one record i'll be creating and use separate values okay it already exists so i just give you one select this use separate resources and uh, literal very values okay and uh, select the object name object is loyalty um, don't select this loyalty share okay this is a salesforce created object make sure you select the correct object fine it should be loyalty points underscore underscore c select this and uh, here it is asking you when you create the data what would be the value of name let's say name i'm selecting name okay this left hand side this these are the fields inside loyalty object right hand side these are the fields in the screen hmm? so in the screen whatever name see this screen component there's a field called name whatever you enter in the name it should go and sit into the name add one more field data and in the screen i have a date add one more field what else sales amount right and in the screen i have a field called sales amount you know see i'm getting only sales amount why because sales amount on left hand side is a number data type and right hand side this is also a number data type that's what i told you make sure the data type in your screen and your actual object is same all right i think we are so far so good let's click on done and just line the uh, you know tag the line after you are done with the record creation what next i think you should display one success message saying your record has been created so for that i'm going to go and take one more screen cool this time i have a component called display text i use this display text a lot to show the customer the the display okay give a name success and here you have to write this message whatever message you want to display okay uh, the record is created successfully okay this is the uh, message the success message okay give a name name should be success message and uh, i think uh, you don't want to see this pause for thing right all right so i'm done it's a very basic flow i'm just creating i am going to go and make this same flow a little complex 
just to make sure we use all the other component as well okay now once you're done with this flow click on save give a name create loyalty cool click on save i have saved it see flow is just like a process builder you you cannot uh, you know edit it so once it is done you can save as and you know create a new version and change it if you want to change something so click on active and uh, I, I have to use this flow somewhere correct before i use this flow somewhere click on this run button to run the flow and see how it is looking like see create loyalty that's my flow name and this is how the flow is looking actually i have not placed that flow anywhere okay i'm just running the flow with the run button give a name test amount is one zero zero date is because it's a date field see the calendar is automatically coming okay click on next you see this the record has created successfully i mean the record is created successfully that's the um, success message that we had given click on finish i'm done right now i will go and check whether the record has already created or not so just launch the loyalty this is the record i just now created name test and date this and hundred dollars all right so i'll just quickly repeat this is a very basic flow we have created i'm going to go and repeat the same thing what i have done i created a flow first i have taken one screen the screen where you are actually you as an end user is actually entering the data cool then i have uh, uh, i have drawn the line from start to this screen because this will open first then it is creating the data okay i have mapped all the fields of loyalty with the um, screen fields so name it should be filled with whatever name that you're entering in the screen date it should be filled with whatever date that you are entering the screen and same as sales amount cool you have to select the second one okay if you don't select the first one use all the uh, values from the record don't, we don't we don't want to use all the values from the record we just want to use the separate resources right select this one and create one because we're going to go and create only one record uh, based on whatever data that has been entered right done and then i have taken one more screen where i have just displayed this as a display message correct once this is done we are so far so good to place that flow somewhere i have to tell you one more thing here as an admin see this is a very basic flow i'm telling you sometimes the flow become like very very complex for a complex flow the flow might not work right so might not work based on how you need so you have to debug the flow right so this is where the debug comes in the picture this debug is really helpful for us right we can go and click on the debug button to you know debug the entire flow so now if you click some amount is hundred it is this see if you click on next right it will keep showing you all the things that is happening in the back end right now there's no error right so let's say there's a validation rule which is um, stopping this flow possible right so you'll see over here what is that reason the flow is not working so that debug is very helpful make sure you uh, you understand the debug okay you click on the debug and read all these lines okay this is something you have to be pretty much habituated with the debugs because uh, as an admin we do the debug here and as a developer we do a lot of debug okay so you know we're gonna learn something called debug logs in the development uh, sessions but uh, this is how we can do the debug that's it for this video okay next video i'm gonna make this same example a little complex but i have a request please go and create these objects and implement this uh, flow if you get stuck somewhere make sure you rewatch the video and do exactly the same way that i am doing and create the flow all right see you in the next video